I couldn't in good conscience vote, not knowing what this, <coughs> what this entailed, why, and not getting any answers. You can't hold the controller. He's doing his job. His job is to pay the bills. And that's exactly what he's doing. The auditor couldn't answer because she hasn't been involved in this. Now she is. But the contract that the administration entered with Thornton allows up to $2.5 million. So I couldn't hear it be here in good conscience representing the constituents of Massachusetts and vote for something I know nothing about. And so I'm learning. And um, so what I am asking Lieutenant Governor, through you, Lieutenant Governor, to have the governor give us a report to come before the council and to explain this contract where we are now. Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> There's no money for this contract in the pipeline right now. In other words, it's not included in this millions of dollars that we vote. Excuse me. You just made a motion like this about me. Hey, I really I'm not talking to you. Your guess. Huh? Right. So anyway, okay. Please so um, where it isn't in the pipeline. And it's not here in our in, in our warrant to vote for. I will be voting for the warrant because it doesn't include that. But I just want to inform the counselors it will be coming up within six weeks. So we're talking it could be up to two point five million dollars. So counselors, I hope you'll support me to ask for a report from the administration. There's no report from the, from the auditor, or the inspector general, or from the controller. Okay, this is strictly a contract with the administration and Thornton. So I want to know where we are and when it will be coming up again in our warrant to vote. So I'll be voting today for the warrant because that is not included, <coughs> and I hope that the council will support me on this. Thank you very much, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you very much. I just want to thank Dr. Hobson Drewville for his hard work on this issue. Uh, I look forward to seeing the controller here. You've done a great job, and I'm one counsel who really appreciates your hard work. Thank you, patient. I just want to say that I talked to the controller, okay? And as I said, and 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 I, I support you, I, I, Councilor Drewville, and I was just so happy I had another counselor that was concerned about this issue. But he, if you have him come before us, he'll, he'll tell you what I talk about. Even today I talk. He pays the bills. So that if you have him come in, it's really needless because he'll tell you, I only pay the bills. So it's the administration that has the contract. And that's where we can get the information. And I think we should have the information. You don't vote on something when you don't know all of the, all the information about it. So um, I thank you, and I thank our Council Julie Bill. And um, so I hope that puts a light on why we have been voting no. No seems like a negative thing. Sometimes it's for the people. Thank you. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Council Bill, I'm looking for a motion to report by six and ten.
an opening. So say district one, chis, the first one, district two, the next one, three, four, however it goes. Uh, the other thing is, is you could share them, which, you know, I don't know that that's an expeditious use of your time. Uh, or we could pull a name out of a hat, but I think the most equitable thing would be just to rotate it rotate, around. Rotate, rotate. I second the motion. Rotate. I third the motion. Okay, so we have a motion, a second, and a third. So, we can see, would you like to vote on that? Sure. That is all in favor, say aye. Aye. So there is a process now established in vacancy in District 7. And if this is, if I do my math correctly, District 1 is the first. I was in the day there, right? So here. here all right, do we have anything next week? Yes, yeah. we have two next week. We have two next week? All right, so uh, the 29th at uh, 10.30. It's 10.30, I'm just trying to write this down. At 10.30 on January 29th, there would be a hearing. That's two days after my birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to have a hearing on that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This is January 22nd, we're talking about? No, we're talking about January 29th. Okay, thank you. Okay. Two weeks. We have a new intern from the JNC joining us today. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, I'm the new intern. I'm a uh, first year student at Boston College uh, studying cool. political science and history. Uh, only my third day on the job, but I'm very excited to get to work. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. My daughter's at Boston College. Where are you living? Uh, Medeiros. Okay. Hi, Linda. Hey, what is <laughs> I don't like you very much. Yeah. Yeah. It probably hasn't changed. It probably hasn't changed much. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, silence all the time. Uh, welcome. I just beat them all. I have two of my four children graduated from BC and two grandchildren. I was six when I got married. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Councilman, would you like to say the last word today? Yes, I would. <laughs> you know, we have uh, meetings. Yeah, oh, so you just want to answer your phone, so. Yeah. Just take it out. Yeah. 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 